Now, everyone loves to smell good, especially in the fall when it's cuffing season. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five of my must-have fragrances for the fall. Stay tuned. So all of the perfumes that I picked to share with you today are Eau de Parfums, which means they're kind of in the middle of how long the scent lasts throughout the day. All of these are gonna last you about eight hours and they're all warm floral scents. So in the fall, I like that warm, cozy, kind of comfy smell. So all of these that I'm gonna share are your warm florals. So the first scent I have is Dior Je Adore. This is the bottle. It's got a clear kind of oval shaped base with this swirly gold top and this crystal top at the top. This smells really good. So this is going to have notes of Yang Yang, Damascus Rose, and Jasmine. Um, it's a very sophisticated smell, very feminine and mysterious. So um, I feel like when you're picking out your perfumes that you wanna wear, it's kind of what vibe are you giving that day? So with this one, if I wanna smell you know, kind of sultry and sexy, I will take this one. So the next scent that I have is Kayali Deja Vu White Flower. And actually Jackie Aina put me onto this scent on Instagram, I wanna say about a year ago when she did her top fragrances. Um, and when I saw this one and I went and read the notes of it, I definitely had to have it. Um, this one has notes of gardenia, vanilla, and jasmine. It's also got kind of a, a hint of sandalwood in there, which makes this a very elegant smell. I wear this one a lot at night, especially, you know, when I'm looking cute, got my little pajamas on or whatever. I'll spray this one. I just love the way, I, you know, it smells, and I know my husband likes it too, so I definitely love to wear this one. Um, to bed. So the next scent that I have is by YSL and this is Libre. I really like Libre because it has notes of lavender, like a Moroccan orange blossom and also a type of musk. It's a very unique smell but it still gives you that warm fall fuzzy kind of vibe so it's definitely a cozy smell when you put it on it makes you want to cuddle up and you know get close. <laughs> But this one is unique. So I don't think I smell it very often when I go out and you know how fragrances they adapt depending on like your body chemistry. So I feel like even though this is a popular scent, of course it's gonna smell a little bit different on everybody based on their chemistry. So if you have not tried this one, I know there's a small bottle um, that you know, if you wanna just go and grab it, you definitely won't be disappointed, but uh, this is another one that I would add to my collection if I did not have it already. So this next one is probably the sweetest one that I have out of the five that I'm sharing with you guys today. So this one is Bon Bon by Victor and Roth. Now Victor and Roth have a popular flower bomb, but I went to, I think I got this from Ulta and I saw this one and smelled it and absolutely loved it. Even though it's sweet, it's not too sweet to where it seems a little too childish, but this one has notes of black currant, peaches, and caramel. So if you like a sweet smell, definitely try this one. Um, now I will say, if you've got teenage girls, hide it because mine are always in my bathroom sneaking this and wearing it to school. Um, I think it, you know, it could be appropriate if you've got girls for them to wear, but um, it is a little grown. I don't really like them wearing it, but hey, what am I going to do? But if you are looking for something a little bit sweeter, um, a little less floral, even though this is in the warm floral category, I would definitely give this one a try next time you're at Ulta. Now, what would a fragrance video be without a Chanel fragrance? So this one is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. And this is a very bold, fresh, modern, sexy smell. Now, if you are feeling like you are a boss, you have work to get done, you've got things to do, this is the smell or the perfume that I would pick and that I will wear on that day. It smells so good and it's very classic. Like this is one that will probably never go out of style, which I mean pretty much all of Chanel's <laughs> fragrances are like that. But if you're looking for something a little bit fresh, it's still 
a good fall kind of warm comfy scent but it's very modern very mm, very strong that's a good word for it it's a strong makes you feel confident and sexy type of smell so this is one that if you're looking to be on that that vibe this is the one that i would go check out all right and that's it those are my five must-have fall fragrances please let me know what you think do you have any of these have you tried any of these what are some fragrances that you have that are good for the fall that were not in this video let me know in the comments below if you'd like to check out more videos from me please make sure to check out my channel i've got a couple other older videos up that you might like and if you'd like to see more definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another video Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.